Hi, Joe Cerrone. Anyhow, Roseanne. Welcome to CAD 107, Introduction to 3D Printing and our first Zoom classroom meeting. Alrighty, so we're using D2L, which stands for Desire to Learn, to manage the course here for our Introduction to 3D Printing course. Last week, we sent out an Introduction to Your Instructor's Orientation Meeting, and in that, we talked a little bit about the course. We'll be using this Zoom link every week, and that will be active on Wednesdays at 9 a.m., and we'll have Zoom classroom meetings to keep everybody on track. You do not need to attend the Zoom classroom meetings, as this is an asynchronous online course, but what we do is try to keep everybody on track with the week's worth of assignments. We'll be using AutoCAD primarily for the course. Students can use other CAD software. So if you're good with SolidWorks or Fusion, you can use that to create the models for the course. And you can get the AutoCAD software from the Autodesk website right here and choose Get Products. Back to the main splash page. We'll be using two textbooks. One of them will be the Mastering 3D Printing, a guide to modeling, printing, and prototyping. And that's available on Amazon, or you can get it at the bookstore. And the other book will be a projects book of 20 different 3D printing projects. And that will be for creating the CAD models that we'll use to 3D print. Instructions on how to install the software are right here. And so here's how to install the AutoCAD. And then student support. Wednesdays, we're here on campus in Skokie, and students are welcome to come in to use the 3D printing equipment or to just use a computer and get online or in-person support. Thursdays, we're online. And so if you'd like a Zoom meeting to go through for some assistance on how to use some of the CAD software or the slicer, you can request a Zoom meeting. And those start at 8.30 a.m. And you just go and request using an email. And then Mondays were here as well. Course has been color-coded. Blue is reading, green is hands-on exercises, and purple is video, and red is assignments. Content area. In the content section, we have the overview for the course, which has the information about your instructor, the textbooks, and office hours. And then moving from top to bottom, here's the syllabus. And so here's our syllabus for the course. We talked a little bit about this in our introduction video, but essentially we're going to be working to analyze functions of these 3D printing projects and to be able to develop design projects and then be able to make them and design and print. And so as we go through, we'll start off by following the outline within the textbook. Why do we want to use a 3D printer? How are we going to use it? What are the materials and things like that? As we follow the outline of topics and we work with the course, students can VPN to an Oakton computer. And so if you haven't got your AutoCAD working, you can go and follow these instructions to download the client for Global Protect. And then that'll allow you to connect to an Oakton computer, which will have all the material that you need to create your projects. Back to the table of contents. Module zero. In module zero, the first assignment is to complete the student pretest. And in that, we want you to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about why you're taking the course and submit that to our assignments folder in D2L. And so your first assignment for this week is to go through, introduce yourself with the student introduction document, 
And then this area just goes through and talks to you a little bit about how AutoCAD works and being able to use the CAD system to create the drawings. The textbooks, we have given you a preview version of the book, and you are to read through chapter one of the Mastering 3D Printing textbook. And in chapter one, we go through 3D printing hardware and software. and why we would use a 3D printer. And so we, the textbook goes through and talks about additive manufacturing, the history of robotic 3D printing, some of these projects and how as patents have expired that has made room for the desktop market for 3D printers. And so the first chapter is organized into why do we use 3D printers? And what are some of the other types of printing and prototyping equipment? And then our projects book will basically go through and outline all these different cool projects that we'll be using to run the course. And essentially it's a workshop type course, which will demonstrate virtually how to create these different projects. And so project 11 is the do not disturb sign. But there's a number of other projects here that we'll work on that will be released in the D2L course shell. And you're welcome to do additional projects if you would like to do that. The nice thing about this textbook is that the projects are organized and they're basically set up just as like geometries where they just go through and show you how to create the models. And it's not specific to the software. And so what we do is we will show you how to do the CAD modeling using D2L and making videotapes. And so the projects are taken from the 20 course project textbook. And we'll use these title blocks for our general design projects. We'll use mechanical metric title blocks. Continuing, our first project will be this lab one, do not disturb sign. And in this project, we'll create this do not disturb sign. Here's our agenda. Here is our lecture. And so this goes through and outlines the chapter. And then here is the video on how to create the project. And so this one shows you how to use the Dremel 3D45, just a basic introduction. Here's the student file, which you will download. And so what we would do is we would select it, download it, open the file. And so here's our CAD geometry, and then it's going to eventually look like this file right here, where we would model that part. And then our project then is exported to our slicing software, and we'll talk about how we go through and do that. So the first part of the course is just basic, introduce yourself and a basic CAD project in which we'll create this sign. Here's the video tutorial. And in the video tutorial, we walk you through how to download the file. Here's the CAD geometry from our 20 projects textbook. How to create the geometry using AutoCAD. And you're welcome to use other CAD softwares if you have CAD skills. But if you have never used CAD before, we have it all laid out for you using AutoCAD. And so we put the text on here, show you how to model it. And then we export it and save the file to be turned in and graded. All righty. So that's our lab one project. Lecture is set there. Information about the 3D printer. And then just basic getting started work. As we go through and continue to work with our projects, let me go back to my main splash page. And I'm going to turn on my video. 
and we'll switch the video to some of the applications. There we are. Al, is this full size? Can you see that? Yes, I can. Perfect. So as we work with some of the projects, some of the things that are recommended, and we realize that this is different being an online Zoom classroom, but a lot of students are choosing that. And as you look at the AutoCAD software, they even have a button in which you can request 3D printing of your CAD models. But we'll be using and working with these different programs to create projects like here's our chip clip. This is a project that we've modeled with AutoCAD. Here's a two color uh, example of a ring that we'll be working on. A calibration cube and, and that will be able to go through and use things like this micrometer to go through and to measure the size of our geometry that we've created. And then that allows us to then work within our 3D printer and the calibration of it to be able to create these projects. And so some of the other projects that we'll work on, like this tape dispenser, we'll create the model for that and then draw that. And then other things like this ball here that I use in my bird, um, couldn't be really created any other way than with 3D printing. And so as we start to work with these different projects, we're looking forward to working with the students. If you have any questions, just email us. And for our first project, work on creating the video conferencing sign for your door. All righty. So back to the main splash page. With, with that, I'm going to wrap up the video recording with that for our first classroom, work on module one, read through lab number one, the do not disturb sign, and fill out the student introduction and turn that into the assignments folder, module zero for the student introduction, and then module one for the CAD drawing, which will be due in two weeks on October 4th. And then the student introduction will be due on the 24th. All right, with that, I'm gonna go back to the main splash page. Al, is there anything else that we wanna talk about or say before I end the Zoom classroom meeting? Uh, not at all, I, right, they should really just say, hey. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, email us or text us, whatever the case be, so we can be back to you as soon as possible. All righty then. I'm going to stop the recording. We'll post that and look forward to seeing you online next week. With that, this ends our Zoom classroom meeting for today.